Welcome, squad, to a brand new show. We're calling Uppercuts. I'm here with Camille and our boy Drew to discuss one of my favorite things, fashion and style. Fashion and style. Um, I don't know why I was going into song there, but <laughs> style has always played a role in gaming, and it has become an even bigger thing in esports. So in this show, we're going to be examining everything in style, from skins to branding to clothing lines, nothing is safe. That's right. So nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. <laughs> Everything is fair game. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to react to and evaluate the latest clothing line released by popular esports org, 100 Thieves. But before we check out the line specifically, let's talk about this team because I want to get your opinions yeah. on 100 Thieves. Branding in general. The org has been around for a couple of years now. What do you think of when you hear about 100 Thieves? Drew, something come to mind? Look, low effort, minimal. <gasps> Like, it's kind of sad because before this brand started off with very, very strong roots, yeah. very ecstatic. It was also, it was like very aggressive and I liked it a lot. And the, I judge brands by the latest thing they do. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I don't see, I don't, it's not leaving me a good impression. Oh, interesting. Interesting words. Camille. The brand? <laughs> the brand as a whole. I, you know what you think? Oh my gosh, I completely disagree with you. I feel like the brand um, does a really good job in including people who may not be familiar with gaming and esports. Mm -hmm. Like you think streetwear, you think uh, nature, you think OVO, yep. uh, you think you want to be them. Like they are the people you want to be in esports because they don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they seem to have like a general like color scheme you see in their branding, yes. red, black, white, very powerful, bold. But on the same time, kind of like, you know, like classics, right? The kindergartner has a good idea of a color scheme as well. Oh so I'm not God. too sure what you mean by that. Fair, fair. You know, as a designer, obviously Drew has a background. I mean, we should talk a bit about your background. You design yeah. very stylish. Yeah, um, I'm, I have a huge passion for fashion. Yeah. Um, I had a clothing line. Ooh. It's kind of on break. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, and I'm also in esports with you guys, so you, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> His feet it's are on both weird. sides, so it's like yes. a really cool perspective, whereas I just bring the fandom. Yay! Hey. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. And the casual of... look, you know? I yeah. appreciate fashion, but uh, I may not know everything that you know. It's so okay. I really want to get your opinions on the latest line, because yes. everyone is talking about this one. So the line is called the Numbers line, and uh, let's take a look at the commercial action that they released for it first. talking underneath that uh drew what did you think of the commercial what vibe did he give you uh they're really trying hard to look cool um yes. and i feel like they don't have to do that because 100 thieves were, was already cool right yeah initially when the brands came out they were aggressive they were rebellious they were like hey we're gonna be different and now they're just not different anymore now they're just they got that corporate weird feel and they're really trying hard really you don't think what? that commercial corporate? show yeah, like, like like gritty like, shaky cam the, the product should speak for itself and i didn't see much of the product in there what i yes. saw was a jeep driving under a bridge in <laughs> california so yes. like i don't understand about i don't understand that Okay, That's fair. the thing, you got glimpses of the actual collection. Uh, I think they were trying to sell the vibe of what it means to be a part of 100 Thieves, and that was the coolest part. Maybe a little bit too much cars. I mean, maybe too much cars. Maybe they have a sponsorship yeah, I mean, you know about. Yeah, I mean, if 50% of your video is car, that means you're not really like proud of your product. Okay, okay, it was a 30 second promo. It was only a sneak peek. There is a lookbook online that yeah. really delves into the product. So let's actually pull up the items to look at these items a bit more. So the line itself, you can see See, there are three t-shirts, a bomber jacket, a hoodie, a pair of shorts, a pair of joggers, and there are two types of hats. So there's a snapback, of course, and the toque. Um, looking at this line now, I mean, we already know Drew wasn't impressed, but like seeing the specific items, is there anything that stands out to you? Uh, I, I do like the jacket. Okay, um, okay. Unfortunately, Looking at the price lines, looking at the designs, it feels like a discount Off-White brand. Mm -hmm. And Off-White is a brand made by Virgil Abloh, which is, who's now the head of Louis Vuitton. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, hey, 
did I go to Dollarama or Walmart? Because that's exactly what I'm looking at. And this brand used to be different. This brand used to stand oh out. This brand used to have something. It used to mean something. It's a lot more expressive. And unfortunately, it's not at all. Yeah. Wait, right? so when you allude back to their past lines, what are you thinking about? Like, what are there specific items or lines that you were talking about well, with their, the other themes? Their second release, especially with Champion, uh -huh. uh, they had like a really interesting design, very awesome, unique looking logo, mm -hmm. okay. cool patterns. It looked really cool. And then yeah. on top of that, it was itself. Like, it wasn't mm. trying hard to do anything. Here, I see a brand that's trying to deconstruct itself to see how strong their branding is. Mm. And unfortunately to me, that spells like, hey, we're selling out. Uh, oh, I don't think they're selling out. I think they were just trying to go for the more simplistic look. Um, the weird thing is that red T in there, it's just out of nowhere. But I'm starting to think maybe this is an opportunity for them. Every collection they release, maybe they should do a special red. Like, I think and that's, that's a one piece, is. right? So That's their I mean, in-store exclusive, yeah, they said. Yeah, well, so. Red is their signature color. Yes. You couldn't tell from this collection because everything and else seems very thing, muted. Yeah. Every, everything else seems very minimalistic. And yeah. like I said, I judge brands on their current release, on their current yeah. happenings, and all I see is a low effort, minimal, Brand. Yeah, this yeah. is the lowest they've probably been. The, the, the talk right now is like, it's obviously minimalist, right, that yes. they're going for, but is there such thing as like too minimalist? Yeah, and I think, we're, you know, we're seeing <laughs> I mean, it a little bit here. The bomber looks great. I don't like the toucan, how it's off-centered like that. It just, uh, like, I don't think they were thinking about how the garment would actually look on people because that would just be unflattering, uh, okay, well, I think, to a lot of That's people. That's why the video was had 50% of Jeeps <laughs> driving around, right? You couldn't tell because they knew it wouldn't look good on anybody. The ride was so wild to, like, move to the side. Yeah. And that's, oh, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. when they took that long strut under the bridge and you couldn't see anything about the clothes. Yeah. The fantastic. I loved it. Yeah. And I loved it. But also the numbers uh, T-shirt, like the T-shirt yeah. in that one, it's like it doesn't fit well on a female's body. Like, I think how the numbers are on the back, it's very square and it yeah. just doesn't sit well. Um, and also, I know how to count already. Well, so, I thank mean, you. Th the thing is, the reason why it fits square is because that's just, that's kind of the street where yes. it fit. And like you said, when you think of 100 Thieves, you think of like a brand that's that's actually fashionable, right? Mm. And that's why it's a little boxy but fit. Now, did it fit good? No. <laughs> right? No. Okay. Okay. So, right, but that's more on the model than it is the clothing. But okay, fair. that's not really. But there's nothing wrong with that. So we're we have a lot of criticisms. A little, uh, you know, some positives. Yeah. You like the bomber. There's some things that they're doing well. But the ultimate question is. Drip or drop? Would you cop any item here or just not? Ab Passing. Absolutely not, because on top of the price points, there's minimalist brands, for example, like Raining Champ and Alpha Flight. Mm -hmm. I could get the same stuff that's for only true. $20 more, and then they're higher quality, world best garments. All right, that's that's true. I'm going to drop it. All right, guys, you heard it there. That's it from Uppercuts. Let us know what you want us to rate or talk about in the next episode. See you next time. <laughs>